everyone and welcome back to Hannah's Happy Home. In today's video, I'm going to be restocking our kitchen with food, doing some organizing in the kitchen and adding some new organizational items that I ordered from Amazon. And I am giving away a $50 Amazon gift card in this video to one of you. So the details on how to enter to win that gift card will be typed up here on the screen. So we'll start off the video by heading to Costco and Walmart to get groceries. As you can see, the fridge and pantry were looking quite empty, so it was time to get the kitchen stocked with food. I haven't been to Costco in three months. We are over an hour from Costco, and so I don't always get there very often. So when I do go, I try to stock up on those items that we like to get from Costco. Okay, so I will do a quick Costco haul and then we'll get all of this put away and do some organization in the kitchen. So starting off over here is all of my fruits and veggies. I got this big bag of romaine hearts. These little mandarin oranges are the boys' favorite snack. The two pack of carrots here, I'm gonna use these for soups. I'm gonna start making a lot of soups now that it's colder weather. And then these are also great to put with meat in the crock pot or to have as snacks. These English cucumbers are very delicious. A bunch of berries here because we'll go through these really quickly just as snacks and with yogurt and everything. Two of the Arizona raw honeys. This is something that I always get every time. We go through a lot of honey in this household so I always just grab two or three of those. The four pack of the Kirkland butter and then some different cheeses over here. String cheese and then two of these two packs of shredded cheese. I'll just put three in the freezer and then one in the fridge. A big box of these little yogurts for the boys and then down here I got a box of organic chicken stock and then a bag of the probiotic granola, big box of the honey bunches of oats, and then a big tub of these pretzels. It's probably been a year since I've gotten these pretzels and the boys have been wanting pretzels, so I got the tub of those. And then these little fruit and vegetable pouches for Levi. I'm going on a trip here in about two weeks and these are going to just be great to take on the trip. They're also just nice to have on hand to throw in my purse. If we're heading out for the day, it's an easy snack for him. A tub of mixed nuts, Kinder's barbecue sauce, peanut butter, ketchup. These are three things that I always get from Costco. We're out of ketchup, so I got the two pack of the organic ketchup. And then this is my favorite peanut butter. I always keep this on hand. This is our favorite barbecue sauce that we always keep on hand. Another thing that I always get every time I go to Costco is the Kirkland maple syrup. And then this Greek pita bread is only $3 for 12 pita breads. And these are perfect for making little homemade pizzas, or you can do like chicken salad sandwiches. And then two boxes of the organic diced tomatoes. This one is organic diced tomatoes, and then this one is tomato sauce. I'm going to be making a lot of soups over the next two months, like I said, now that it's cooler weather, so I'll be making lots of chili and taco soup. So I just always like to keep a lot of those on hand, and they are a good price to just buy them in bulk. And this is everything that I got from Costco, and now I'll show you I got a couple things from Walmart. And I totally forgot, I have some Costco items in the freezer, so I got two big bags of these organic extra fine green beans. These are our favorite green beans, so I always stock up and get two or three big bags to keep in the freezer. Also got this big bag of organic triple berry blend for smoothies. That's been one of my favorite snacks in the evening is to just make a big smoothie. So there's no organization over here. I just have everything stacked on this counter, but this is everything that I got from Walmart. I ran in Walmart after Costco and just got a couple more grocery items that we needed. And Levi's down here getting in the cabinets. That's his latest discovery is that he can open up cabinet doors and drawers so he's been getting into everything but i am going to get all of this put away in the fridge and the pantry i've got some new organization items so let's go ahead and get started going to start off by cleaning the fridge. It wasn't too bad. I just wanted to quickly wipe down the shelves, rinse out the drawers and everything. And in a previous organization video, I had added these organizational containers to the fridge. 
The smaller ones came in a four pack off Amazon and then I got a two pack of the larger ones. After about a month, I did end up taking the two larger ones out of the fridge and then I just used these four smaller ones. I kept that turntable in the fridge and then also the container that I kept eggs in, but the two larger ones just took up too much space and I didn't use them very often, so I just took those out, but those smaller ones I would highly recommend. I've really loved having them in the fridge. I'll have the links for everything that I can down below in the description box. But now that everything is cleared out of the fridge, I am just wiping everything down, like I said, and also wipe out all of the containers before I start filling them with food. I decided to just quickly separate all of the cheese sticks before putting them in the container. It just makes it a little bit easier when you want to grab one out for a snack, especially for the kids. Got that put in the fridge and then I'm putting the shredded cheese in the freezer and then I just put one bag in the fridge. Shredded cheese is something I always like to keep on hand for recipes and everything. So it's just cheaper and more convenient to buy it in bulk and freeze the majority of it. Before I start filling these drawers with food, I'm just popping those out and taking them over to the sink to rinse them and wipe them out. It was just easier to take them over to the sink. These are really easy to pull out and put back in and so I just wash them over there and now I am stocking them up with food. In the bottom drawer I put lunch meat, cheeses, tortillas, different things like that and then obviously the drawers are labeled for veggies and fruit. Um, that's what I'll be putting in those drawers. I wish I could keep my fridge this clean, organized, and stocked all of the time, but that's just not always the case. But some things that can help is to just always give your fridge a quick clean out and wipe everything down before you fill it up with new groceries. That can just help you to maintain a clean fridge if you make that a habit. Now, I don't do it every single time, but I do usually always try to do it just because it really does help. And then also cleaning out your fridge before you even make your grocery list can help you not to waste any food because then you can see what food you need to use up and then you can base your recipes off of that. Go through your freezer as well, see what food you can use up out of there. And just keeping your fridge organized helps you to not waste any food because when your fridge gets really unorganized and messy and everything's just stacked in there, you can waste a lot of food because things that you need to use up can get shoved to the back of the fridge. You forget about them until they are growing mold and all kinds of things. My fridge has gotten pretty bad before. It's not always this perfect, obviously, but lately I have been trying to stay on top of doing that quick clean out and wipe down before I fill it up with groceries. And that has really been helping and it's always a good feeling to stock a clean fridge with food. going to be making a blueberry crisp with the rest of those blueberries at the end of this video so stay tuned for that it turned out delicious so now I am unboxing all of those new organization items that I got from Amazon the first thing here are these glass storage containers I got the three pack 
I was needing more of these glass storage containers just for leftovers and food prepping, berries, different things like that, and I've already been getting so much use out of these the last week. The next thing I got are these Rubbermaid produce containers. This pack came with two large ones and then a medium-sized one. I had gotten these because I wanted to store my Romaine Hearts lettuce in these two larger containers but it didn't work out too well. They didn't fit in here very well, and so I just decided not to use them today. But I'm still going to hang on to these containers because they would work great for storing other types of lettuce like spinach, mixed greens, or iceberg lettuce, different things like that. And it says these are supposed to help keep your produce fresher longer. And usually when I get groceries, my produce drawer is overflowing, so I end up having to put things on the shelves. So these will be really nice in a situation like that. So I'll hang on to them at least until the next time I get groceries and I have more produce than what will fit in the drawer. ended up just putting all of those romaine hearts in the drawer and now I'm going to cut up and wash these strawberries. These strawberries from Costco were so delicious. We have been snacking on these all day every day. As I'm doing this voiceover, there's probably only a couple pieces of strawberries left in the fridge. I find that if you want to have healthier snack options like fruit, veggies in the fridge, prep them before you put them in the fridge because you're going to reach for them a lot faster when you want a snack if they are already cut up, washed, and ready to eat. I know when they're washed and cut up they don't last as long, but it's usually not an issue because if we have fruit and veggies that are prepped and ready to snack in the fridge, then we do go through them pretty quickly. Okay, so I am done with the inside of the fridge and the last thing I'm going to do is clean the outside of the fridge and I talk about this in every cleaning video but this is my favorite stainless steel cleaner, this method stainless steel cleaner and polish. It just does such an amazing job. There I showed you the before and then I just spray that right on the front of the fridge, use a microfiber cloth and wipe it off. The fridge is nice and shiny again. So now I'll give you an overview of the stocked fridge and where I keep everything. So right here in the middle is where we keep jugs of milk, orange juice, any large drink jugs like that. And then I try to keep this middle area empty because that is where I will stack leftovers and anything like that. Over to the left, I did end up adding back one of those larger containers just to keep all of the cheese for snacking like string cheese and the baby bells. Then we do have some body armors there. We don't always have little drinks like that, but I did get some for this week. Up on the second shelf, I always have little packs of yogurts for the boys, and then it varies what I keep in the other container. Up on the top shelf in that turntable, I have all of our salsas and then the berries. And then this container over here on the left has the larger containers of yogurt, cottage cheese, things like that. Down in the drawers, we have fruit, veggies, and then this bottom drawer has got the cheeses, lunch meat, if we have bacon, sausage, anything like that will go in there. In the right door, we always keep butter on the top, and then in the middle is salad dressings, ketchup, mustard, things like that. In the bottom is all of our sauces. Over in the left door, the bottom is always where we keep all of our water cups. In the middle, I've got maple syrup, lemon juice, we've got the applesauce, the peanut butter, and I always get some comments about why I put my peanut butter in the fridge. And the peanut butter that I get does say right on the front that after you open it and stir it, 
You do have to refrigerate it in order to keep it a spreadable consistency because the type of peanut butter that it is. So that's why I keep it in the fridge. Now we're going to go over to the pantry and quickly clean this and restock it with food. I had gotten more of these mainstays containers from Walmart to add here on the bottom shelf. I've got three down here so far, but I wanted to add two or three more I had gotten. So I'll show you those here in a little bit. But first off, let's start cleaning these shelves and restocking. So I was just going to work my way along the shelves, removing items, wiping down the shelves, and then refilling the containers. These three baskets are the snack baskets and it varies what type of snacks I keep in here. Usually one of the baskets is always full of granola bars, but this time instead I got those cracker packs and then those little like cinnamon biscuits. Those have been really good with my coffee. The boys have been really liking those as well. But another great cheap snack option is to just keep popcorn kernels on hand. I keep a good supply of popcorn kernels over in the cabinet by the stove. And that's one of our favorite snacks to make in the evening is to just put some olive oil in the bottom of a big pan on the stove, add your popcorn kernels, cover that with a little more olive oil, put the lid on it and just pop a big bowl of popcorn. A little bit goes a long way that everybody loves. It's cheap and if you haven't made popcorn on the stove before, you are missing out. You need to give it a try. So like I showed you earlier, I did get some more of these mainstays baskets. These have just been so great in the pantry. I love how soft they are, easy to pull out. They're a lot better than just like a regular stiff basket, but yet they still have that basket look to them and they're very affordable as well. They're only $4 at Walmart and before they only had them in store. So if I would see them in store, I would always grab a couple, but now I saw that they do have them online as well. So I can link them down below. always fun to stock up these can organizers and I just brought them out here to the table since they were basically empty. I think there was only like two cans left on them. This way you can see them a little bit easier as I stock them. You can get a little bit closer look at them if you're wanting to order some. I'll have the link down below. I think they come in a couple different finishes. I actually have a third one that I haven't put together yet. I'll probably just put that up on the very top shelf just to have more of like extra long-term can storage. I 
ordered two more of these turntables from Amazon. I already have two of these up on the next shelf, but I wanted to add two more on this lower shelf because I've got these really deep corners in this pantry and these are just great to store things in those corners and these turntables are a really good price when I had ordered the first two I searched and searched for ones that were this size that were a good price and I found these they are 11 inches I think they come in a two pack just a really great turntable for a pantry kitchen cabinet you could put these under your bathroom sink to store items on just a lot of places you could use these for storage around the house so now I am sweeping the floor here in the pantry just pulling out all of the baskets getting in the corners and everything and then I'm going to restock this basket with paper towels I had ordered a big box of paper towels from Walmart and I keep all of my paper towels in this big basket here on the floor in the pantry. I had gotten another 20 pound bag of pinto beans. These will last for a long, long time. I buy these from a local farm here in our area and I just store them in this container here on wheels. I'll link it down below and I use these for making homemade refried beans. I use these in chilies, taco soup, or I'll just cook up a big crock pot full of pinto beans with maybe some ham in there and cornbread. Okay, so I'll give you a quick overview of the stocked pantry. The pantry hasn't had this much food in it in a while, so this is a good feeling to have all of this clean and have it completely stocked with food. I'll start off on this top shelf. The very top shelf is just random storage. I need to organize that a little bit better, but it's fine up here on this top shelf. The very back, I have rice and the pasta. These containers, like I said, are from Walmart. And on either side are these turntables, and I did add two more turntables down here. These shelves are really deep, especially the corners, and so I just felt like it was a lot of wasted space back there. So these turntables are a way that I can use up that space and then also still get to the items that I have way back there. So on the left side, I've got a stock of chicken broth and on the right side, a stock of beef broth. And then over here, I just have the applesauce, some homemade pomegranate jelly, and then all of this is just a stock of extra items that we use frequently. So I just keep extras of ketchup, peanut butter, honey, maple syrup, all of those things. On the right side over here, we've got some paper product storage, pretzels, and then in this container, I keep breakfast items like honey, stuff to make homemade granola, there's pancake mix back there, and then all of these containers have cereal in them, and then also granola. Down on the next shelf is our snack baskets. Down here is a few more snacks. We've got mixed nuts, raisins back there, chocolate chips, which end up being a snack even though they are for baking, and then we've got powdered sugar, brown sugar, and cornmeal. This turntable is still empty. I'm not sure what I'll put there. Then I have these three glass jars that also hold old baking items just like these. So I've got rolled oats, flour, and white sugar. This turntable has my pasta sauce. And then I have two of these can racks right here that are completely full of canned goods. Over here on the left side of this shelf, we have our little microwave and then also our toaster. On the bottom shelf, we've got garbage bags, plastic bags, and then all of these bins from Walmart. In this one, I'm probably just gonna keep all of the extra items. So if I have extra bags of powdered sugar, brown sugar, any of these items, we'll just go down here. The next one is for chips. In this bin is extras of any of these items or like pasta and rice items. So I have an extra bag of pasta, flour, oats, and this one has all of the bread related products. So I've got bread, pita bread, tortillas, different things like that, bagels. These two baskets are for potatoes. This basket's completely empty. And then down here I have my recipe card box and then all of my cookbooks. And now for what is on the floor, those two tall baskets in the back are still completely empty. Over here we have an emergency see food supply and then on the left is my breville box and then I've got three of these big baskets which I will link down below this one is full of paper towels this one has got my grocery shopping bags in here. This one is just full of a bunch of random reusable bags and cooler bags, lunch bags, different things like that. Right here, I've got a package of water bottles for volleyball. And then lastly, my container of pinto beans. Okay, so that is it for an overview of the stocked pantry. It's such a good feeling to have the pantry and the fridge 
clean, organized, and completely restocked. It's been a while since I've had both of them completely stocked like this, so it's a good feeling to have this done. And now we're gonna do a bit more organizing in the kitchen. First, I'm just quickly putting away Levi's diapers. I got another big box of diapers from Walmart. I get him the Hello Bello diapers and he's now in a size three. So I had to get him a big box of those and I'm just getting them put in his dresser drawers. And now we are going to add a few more organizers to the kitchen. So the first organizer I got is for bottles, like water bottles, and I also have like my to-go coffee cups stored in this as well. And I didn't realize until I started unboxing these that I'd actually gotten two different types of bottle organizers. So that first one was a black metal one, and then I had the plastic one. And I think I had ordered the metal one before I found this plastic one for a better price because these plastic ones, there's quite a few that are very pricey on Amazon. So I just got the metal one because it was cheaper, but then I found this plastic one for a really great price, a lot cheaper than the other ones that pop up right away when you search for these. So I will link this one down below. It works out so awesome, fit perfectly on this shelf, and is just great for storing bottles. So I put that up here on the second shelf. And then I am just going through my cups and reorganizing them. I don't have very many glass cups left. We've had this glass cup set for over 10 years now because we got it as a wedding gift. So a lot have broken over the years and I do have quite a few of those more prettier green glasses that are displayed over on the shelf. So I usually use those for like iced coffees and things. But for every day during the week, we are just using our water bottles out of the fridge. But here's everything that I was able to get rid of out of that cabinet. I'm donating a couple cups and then there was some other items that were supposed to be stored in a different cabinet. So now this cabinet is looking a lot better and organized. I was excited about this organizer. I've been wanting to get a bamboo utensil organizer for years and I finally got one the other week. I found this one for a good price on Amazon and I love how it is adjustable to the drawer. So as you can see, the sides will slide open depending on how wide your drawer is. And this one just fits great right here. Love how it looks in the drawer. So now I'm gonna start working on this lid situation that I've got going on on the other side of this drawer. So many different lids are just stacked in here. Sometimes I can hardly shut the drawer. It's hard to find lids for containers that I have. So it's time to go through all of these. And once I went through all of them, I was shocked at how many I don't even have containers for anymore. So what I did is I took all of the containers out of that next drawer, put them up on the counter, and then as I was going through the lids, I would put the lids on the containers that fit those containers and then the other lids that I didn't have a container for just went in a trash pile and you'll see here just how large that pile was so it felt good to get rid of all of those 
and now I'm going to work at cleaning out this second larger drawer and I do have an organizer for all of those lids that's going to make it a lot easier to find the lids they won't just all be thrown in a drawer First, I was not impressed with this Tupperware lid organizer, but now that I've been using it, I have really been loving it. It's just so nice to actually have the lids organized. They're easy to grab and to see which one is going to fit the container that you're using. I do wish that this organizer came with more of these dividers. It only comes with, I think it was six, and it just needs to have at least a couple more in the pack. But other than that, really have been loving this and you know that I had to go and make a label on my Cricut. It's just so much fun to make these labels and when I see something that I could label, uh, I just go ahead and pull out the Cricut and make a quick label for it. Okay, so I'm gonna end the video with the blueberry crisp recipe. You can never go wrong with a fruit crisp and they're always delicious to eat warm with some vanilla ice cream on top. But my boys usually just prefer to eat it with milk poured over the top. But either way, it's delicious and this fruit crisp recipe is for blueberries. So I put all of my blueberries in the bottom of the pan and then sprinkled on a couple different ingredients, cornstarch, cinnamon, lemon juice, water. I'll type up the recipe down below. Basically, what I usually end up doing, I look at a couple recipes on Pinterest and then I just kind of make my own recipe based off of what they use. Usually I just always do my mom's recipe for the crisp topping. That's just pretty basic, just oats, brown sugar, softened butter, cinnamon, different things like that, a little bit of salt. You just put that on top of your blueberries. Bake it on 350 for, I think I baked this one for about 20 minutes. So yeah, I hope that you enjoyed today's organization video and that it gave you some inspiration and motivation for doing some organizing around your home and also for if you have to go and restock your house with food, that can be a big job to make a grocery list get all of that organized and clean out your fridge and pantry and everything. So hopefully this gave you some motivation for that. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to enter that giveaway for a $50 Amazon gift card. I'll see you in a couple days with a new video. Bye.